I wanted to show you a really cool tool that I found online called the AI Coin Pal. And basically, what this tool shows you, it shows you the overall market status in the given situation. Right now, we're looking at Binance market list, uh, which basically I sorted the RSI to be which has the lowest RSI or the highest RSI. And what this tool does, it shows the actual price of the market, the stochastics level, and, and stochastics and RSI is a little bit different. So basically ETC, BTC has a little better situation. Uh, stochastics, uh, basically RSI means it's a relatively strength index, which basically shows whether the market is oversold a lot. Stochastics shows uh, basically how close the price is to its uh, resistance and support. So basically high stochastics means the price is really close to resistance, low stochastic means that the price is really close to uh, support. And it shows uptrend or downtrend and it shows the volume right here. And you know you can go look and see what good and what uh, interesting things are right here. And particularly let's have a look at the ETC, BTC because both of them are really, be really low. And you can watch them all day, these indicators, they change uh, from time to time. And uh, th that's how I do my trades when the buy zones buy, <laughs> buy low and sell high. It's easy, easy and easy. Okay, so we have ETC, BTC, but I want to see, and it's, it is low. Oh, sorry, I took a minute chart. Uh, where was it? All right. So it is low and it is on its support. So this could be actually a really nice buy opportunity. Okay, let's keep in mind ETC, BTC and the, the market analyze tool, you know, uh, how much hours you spend watching those charts, figuring out something that is Analyze tool gives you all the data you need instantly and the really coolest thing about it is is how fast can you actually make a trade and I see that I want to buy but I want to buy when it gets step by step lower and I eventually I want to buy here also at, at 0 0.001 uh, is like 10% lower so let's create steps I want to buy when it's 10% lower and then 5% lower and 3 and 2 and 1% lower and I I know that they will bounce. I know that they will somehow get better because this is ETC against BTC. Uh, and how you can do it easily is you you just create uh, create a trade, buy lower, and uh, okay they're minus three percent. Okay, but so like this, uh, you don't see it. Uh, wait, I'll put the screen a little bit down. So, uh, I want to buy lower, uh, buy price is 0 0.10, uh, so remember that this is the, uh, this is the bottom zone right here, 10, let's, get, let's put it at 10.5 to be a little bit, so, okay, I'll use a trailing stop loss and I'll use a 2.5 stop loss, 2.5% stop loss, oh no, let's use a lower stop loss, okay, 5%. And I'll just keep it as a simulation, but I want to buy it step by step by step. So maybe a really good position is right now to buy it, but I want to make sure that I have all the opportunities that I have to buy it even cheaper. So let's create a couple more trades. Uh, let's create 3% lower and 2%, 2.5% stop loss. All right, so I have a maximum deals reached. Wait, I need to close something. So I'm back, I closed a couple deals. So let's get back into this. So remember, I want to buy lower, I want to buy it 3% uh, lower, but I want to use 2.5%, minus 2.5% stop loss. Okay place sorry yeah 
I didn't click. I don't have a mouse. I want to use. I want to buy it even more lower. I want to buy it five percent lower. Uh, it says six. Okay, I'll check everything's fine. Okay. And I'll buy just one more when it's minus 1.5% with again 2.5% stop loss. So and what does this software do, what this program does is basically you can place the trades really quickly but if you go to my trades Uh, I've placed right now in this video when you see I've placed several trades and they will execute uh, when the prices hit the targets when, which I have selected so it's basically it's a little bit different when in an exchange you basically place uh, a limit buy would work out if you if you want to buy when the price gets lower it will basically work out but if you place a, a sell higher price it's not the chance that it's there are, there's another huge chance that it will play out really nicely if the price goes up 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 and hits the target uh, then it's okay but basically the difficultest thing about these exchanges is that you need to watch the price action constantly over and over again so sorry somebody arrived uh so uh, where was i, I was uh, so basically when you have a like let's say an open trade you need to monitor whether the you know the price is getting closer to the point when you need to sell it or the price gets closer to the point when you want to sell it only with profit so you need you know you need to stay out the uh, full time period you know to see what happens with whether with this software what you can do is that you set up the things that you need when to buy when to sell and when to take profit so basically it's a i would call it an automated trading software and uh, i'm you know i'm testing it out and uh, i want to show you a couple of things right here um here it's sold with the stop loss and there is an option that uh, you can lift a stop loss for example uh, where is an open trade like like let's say let's hear uh, I bought this 27 minutes ago and it's plus 0.05 percent and I, if I were to not worry at all whether it gets me to um, uh, deeper minuses I can set that st set stop loss 1.5 percent lower than than the current price and it it has lifted the stop loss so basically what happens right now is that uh, I lifted the stop loss and, and now I'm sure that it will uh, 5.69 5.78 so it's like 1.5 percent lower so you just set up these details and I, I monitor them on mobile phone I just enter this website with my mobile phone this tool and then you just watch it so basically it turns trading into a much much uh, much simpler way only the, there are scenarios when the price drops a little bit and you need to wait and it, can, it, it returns back to it, it re returns back to its normal position or it gets in the higher uh, you know um, you buy it then it levels out a little bit and then it pumps it pumps up actually here was a nice buy opportunity a little bit lower and um i missed that one out but okay let's see the daily ah we already watched the etc daily chart it was uh ah sorry this is eos not etc this is eos okay the eos also supported on this uh, candle right here so basically i, I would think i would uh, i would want to see a little rebounds on let's say two to three percent but our software already has bought it and it already will sell it at one to two percent so it also opens up 
it also opens up uh, trading opportunities where normally you would not have trading opportunities so i think it's a really good software because normally people buy and they wait for like it rise 30 percent but right here when you basically know the price will drop right here you see that it's somewhere here there's a support area somewhere here you when the price is somewhere here you just set by a lower state when the price goes up to the area of resistance you just said also buy at lower state and it's also a, a diagonal support line so basically on, on, uh, what the diagonal support line is i'll show you so then it, there, there's a way how so you can predict the price uh, where it will support a little bit so like let's say like here uh, let's see So this is the trend line. So basically, there was there's another trend line here. Uh, the sorry, it broke down a little bit. So this is the another trend line. So you can see if you draw a trend line, you can predict where the price would rebound. So basically, if the price is somewhere here, you can predict it will go approximately somewhere at this point. So there you can set up buy lower statements here also. And here would be you would, were to buy, and it would rebound only by. Let's take the measure. Let's just give a small approximate of two percent. How high is this? A little bit more, a little bit. Let's say one to two percent. But if you were to set the buy area overnight, the software would make you one to two, one to five, zero point five percent. And the same applies here. You see, it bounced off a couple of times. One time here, one time here, only here, no profit. And the software allows you to take profit where uh, normally it's not that easy or not that possible to do so. So basically, I, in terms of trading, I see a nice potential and a way of using it. Only I'm really new to it and uh, I want to see how it goes, uh, how it plays out uh, in the trades. So let's see let's go back to my trades well overall nothing nothing much has changed all right so i'll keep on watching and see you guys bye i'll post a link in the description